Hi, welcome to Engineering My Money. I'm Roy Reyes. So today I want to talk about, you know, stock market a little bit um, and how it's going to be affected by the elections. First, I'm going to clarify that I'm not a lawyer. A lawyer. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, I, I simply present the information um, that I'm of what I'm doing, and then at the end of the day, you make the call or you consult with an expert. So let's let's get started. So we know that elections are coming up. And um, we are already seeing the stock market going down uh, this last week and continues to go down a bit. And what's happening is normal. Uh, in, in previous elections, uh, investors tend to take their 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 um, swap their stocks for for cash um, to reinvest it once the election results have come through. Why? Because we all know that you know the policies um, influence a lot you know, what happens in the stock market, what happens in the companies, right? Um, so these companies have forecasts, these companies, um, their sales are, um, you know, affected by what the, what the government does. So um, let's say that in the extreme case, the government says, okay, we're not going to allow internal combustion engines, cars, you know, in the next, in, in five years. So obviously, in that case, you know, electric car companies uh, would stock would go up, and you know, the ones that don't have electric cars would probably go down. So that's that's an extreme example, but but the point is that that whatever the government says, what affects you know a business. Okay. So what are the things that we know for sure? We know for sure that um, uh, one thing: don't. <laughs> my advice is don't make any decision, money decisions based off of polls. Right. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm just going to wait to see who, who wins the elections. And then based on that, you know, uh, reinvest my money. So, we, and you know, we know that, that, you know, the whole news um, um, business here in the U.S. is, is broken down. And, 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 and I put the analogy like like somebody talking to uh, um, people that are going to get divorced. If you talk just to the lady, you end up hating the guy and if you talk to just the guy you end up hating the lady um, that's why you know counselors speak to both of them at the same time <laughs> unfortunately our, our news right now you know they're mostly you know one just talks about the lady <laughs> and the other one talks just about the guy so you end up actually hating the other person and that's that's a little toxic so anyway um uh i'm not going to look at the polls i'm going to wait to to see when there's a winner okay so, um, so like, like, what are the things that we know, right? Um, we we do know for sure that both parties are spending like crazy, right? Um, we know that uh, for sure that if Biden wins, there'll be a little more spending. And why? Because we know that in in the packages, they want Democrats wanted to add more money. Um, and then we know that, you know, as we talk about this Green Deal, um, which, uh, you know, I don't know the it's hard to get the details of, but anyway, that that will mean a lot, creating a lot more money out of thin air. Um, so what what happens? What happens to to us? I, I do think that inflation is going to continue going up regardless of the party. Um, you know, it might go a little bit faster, a little bit slower, one or the other. But um, you know, so I still have gold. I still have silver. You know, it, it'll probably go down a little bit this week. Um, I don't know, but but because of this whole uncertainty, it might go down. So it's probably a good time to buy some more. In, in that moment okay so so we know that for sure okay we know for sure number one that biden um doesn't want medicare for everybody they're look they'll probably look at the obamacare or some modification of biden care but the bottom line is that for-profit healthcare companies will probably be happy with this and their stock you know will probably uh, look good um we know that trump uh put some limitation on the cost of medication so the pharmaceuticals went down a bit um, I have no idea what Biden is thinking to do about this. Hopefully, you know, he won't change that much. Um, we know for sure, number two, that Biden would look at alternative energy. So stocks in solar, stocks in uh, nuclear electrical generation uh, would probably be good. Um, we probably, you know, we can probably say with some uh, confidence that Biden will increase the minimum wage overall. Uh, and that affects stocks like Walmart, Target, you know, and those types of retails. And, you know, probably cannabis, a.k.a. marijuana type stocks might go up with Biden. <laughs> um, maybe some infrastructure stocks will go up with Biden uh, because of this Green New Deal type thing. 
Although maybe with you know with Trump that that would also go up, but but I'm not sure about that one. Um, so with Trump, we won't see much changes. Perhaps some of the bank stocks will go up because of uh, some relaxed regulations. Uh, petroleum stocks, I, I like, for example, Exxon, and because they give good dividends. So I'll probably buy some of that and, and hold it. Um, and you know, I'll probably avoid some of the Chinese stocks uh, with Trump. Um, military expenses will probably go up, so military contracts will probably be good. So let, let's look at a few foils of uh, stocks. Okay, so yeah, this is Apple, and you can see that you know last week uh, stocks have been going down, and um, that's because you know, like I said, normally before an election, people you know want to have their cash and wait to see what happens after the election. And, you know, we see that again. Um, so, yeah, folks are making money shorting the stock. If you don't know what that is, you know, stick around for the last four minutes and I'll explain what it is. Um, INTC, you know, again, the, the, I like Intel because they give out good dividends. Now, although Intel went down also because they didn't do so good on the 10 nanometer and 7 nanometer process. But Intel is a good dividend stock. Um, you know, Peloton is, is going down, you know, um, Exxon. I like Exxon because if you see here, they give out they give out 87 cents um, per per share here in the green on the bottom. And um, if you have, you know, the share is 30 30 dollars, let's say, um, you know, you're looking at every quarter about you know 80 cents, 87 cents. That's like a 10 10 percent return, which is which is pretty good. So yeah, this is one that you know if the price is right, I'll I'll probably buy some. Okay, so what, what's my plan? My plan is, like I said, I sold all my stocks. <clears throat> I have cash. I'm waiting to see who wins the election. Based on that, I'll go ahead and, and, and buy stocks. Okay, so I'll wait for the winner. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll buy some stocks and I'll sell most of it when, when it goes up, you know, a few weeks or days later. I will hold on to some high dividend stocks like Exxon, Intel maybe. Um, so <clears throat> there are, you know, I'm not going to worry about any of the regulations if Biden wins that they're going to come down the pipeline because that's not going to happen until, you know, not, it's not going to happen this year, obviously not this year and probably not even early next year. So right now I'll just, you know, concentrate on, on, you know, the types of stocks to buy, um, and the price they're at. Okay. Now, if gold and silver come down because of uncertainty, so it might happen, I'm, I'll probably buy some more of that. So I will be posting <clears throat> in you know three weeks uh, video on what I bought and you know how much money hopefully I made off of it. So let's see how that goes. I do I do recommend if you haven't done this before to open a paper trade, a paper money. It, it costs nothing and it's a lot of fun. And you can do it on a Mary, Mary Trade, Thinkorswim, and there's other platforms. Um, but that's the one I use, and they have a l really good training material, and it's you know it's free. They, you can spend months learning stuff there on stocks, dividends, on you know options, futures, you know whatever. And so there's a lot of material. It's free. There's no need to go off and spend hundreds or thousands of dollars in classes. There's a lot of material there, and always in YouTube, there's a lot of information. I do like to watch the humble trader. <laughs> She's She's a young lady. She's been doing this for years, and she has some good videos. You know, it's and it's free. So there's a lot of stuff out there, and you know, this is a this is this is fun. I mean, you can install the app in your phone. You know, instead of playing video games, you can you can you can trade their paper trade and see how it goes. Maybe you'll like it. Um, you know, and months go by, and then you know, before you know it, you, you you've learned a lot about the stock market. So thanks for watching. The last four minutes, I'm just going to explain what shorting the stock is. I know not, not a lot of the, the people that watch me um, are, you know, experts in stock. So I'll, the last four minutes can be on that. If you already know how to do it, thanks. Thanks for joining. Bye. Okay. So let's assume that we have this stock here, XYZ. Here we have the dollars and on the bottom of time. So and this stock, as you can see, is going down in price. So let's, let's assume that you know, at this moment, this very moment, the stock is at, you know, $100. And, um, you know, it's going down. So you say, I, you know, I want I want to short this stock. Short, short, short means I don't have stocks. I want to sell them, but I don't have them. So you come to me and you say, or, you know, you say, hey, Roy, let me borrow, you know, some stocks. I'll give them back to you tomorrow. So I say, okay, yeah, I don't know. So, okay, so I have 10 stocks. I'm going to let you borrow 10. I'll, I'll let you use them, you know, for 10 cents a day. So, you know, give me a dollar for all 10 of them, you know, and I'll, you know, I'll be good. Just give them back to me, you know, tomorrow. So then you take those 10 stocks and, and you, you, you sell them 
for hundred bucks. So now you 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 have um, in essence a thousand dollars, you know, um, but you still owe me the the hundred stocks. So let's assume that later, you know, in that day or you know, or in the next hours or or tomorrow, or whatever, the the stock you know continued to go down. And now you know, let's say you know, for argument's sake, let's say that the stock now is at ninety bucks. And you say, wow, the, the stock is really cheap. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy ten stocks so I can you know give give Roy back his his stocks. So then you know you go in and in the market and and you buy the 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 stocks at you know ninety bucks. So that costs you uh, nine hundred dollars. So now you see that there's a delta. You come back and say, Roy, thanks for letting me borrow the stocks. Here here they are. Here's the ten stocks back. And I say, thank you. You owe me a dollar. So then. Now you 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 can see that you have a profit of um, of ninety nine dollars, right? Because you made a hundred bucks there, and you you pay me back um, the the hundred bucks that I charge for renting the stocks to you. So in essence, that's what it is. So so this is what happens. So you were short ten stocks. I let you borrow them for a fee. You rebought them at a lower price, and now you're you're paying it back. You pay him back the stocks and you made some money. So what happens is that the broker um, lets you borrow stocks. The price is going to vary. You know, it can be seven cents, ten cents. It's going to vary depending on the stock, or they might not even have stocks. So you you might not be able to borrow the stock. Now, of course, you say that sounds really nice, but what happens if the moment that I that I you know I I <clears throat> I sold the one hundred stocks? What happens if actually the stock started <laughs> to increase in price? So for that, you know, you you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna mitigate your risk, and you're gonna say you're gonna put an automatic buy in this case. Let's say you sold the ten stocks, and you're expecting it to go down, but it actually went up. So let's say you're gonna say, okay, I automatically want the system to, to buy ten stocks if it increases. I don't know, let's say fifty cents. So in this case, now you had to go out buy the stocks for more than what they were. So now you had to dish out a thousand five dollars. Okay. So you gave me back the you gave them back, you know, you gave back the ten stocks to whoever borrowed them, you borrowed them from, but now you 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 lost five dollars. Okay. But you know it could have been worse. This this stock could have you know kept on going up. So you had to put in that stop limit. Okay, and it you know it basically you put the stop where it, you know the trend is 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 breaking, right? So you 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 were lucky the trend got up instead of keep continuing going down. But so so in essence, what you want is that even though you have several losses, whenever you get one the, the number of losses uh, to the number of wins, you want it to be positive, right? The the money amount. So in this case, this is just you know made up case, but. In this case, even if I had you know ten losses and I made one win, I'm still making money, right? Um, so, so you know, there's, there's, this is very simplified, but, but that's the idea, and this is how you sort a stock. If, of course, if you want more details, you know, you start getting into it. If you do the paper trade, you know, you'd actually put some of these into practice, and it's really cool. So, thanks for joining. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye.